Television star David Hasselhoff always seems to be right in the middle of success. Professionally with hits Knight Rider and the Baywatch series, and personally with a happy marriage to wife Pamela, plus two little girls who showed him what real happiness is all about. They just taught me the meaning of unrequited, of just unbelievable love. The love that, that you would just die for who you is. Love that it hurts. I never thought that I could love my second daughter as much as my first, and it's un it's unbelievable how much I do. And uh, it's uh, giving me a sense of responsibility. Um, but you know, it, 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 it's more than anything. It's talking to be young again. I'm going. Wait a second. I got 17 factories going over Europe. I got a I got a million dollar deal over here. I got the phone. I go. What? Hang on. I got to go do words. Go out and make 40-something star keeping up with his hard body co-stars demands punishing workouts. David knows all about the no pain, no gain rule. I get up at 4.30 in the morning. I ride the bike until 5. Pines comes in from 5 until 6. And I get in the car at 6 and I'm on the side at 6.30. And I'm shooting at um, 7.15, and that is the only way to do it. We're portraying people that save children's lives, that swim five miles almost every day. I've got to look the part. It's not because I want to look in the mirror and go, look at me. It's because these guys are in shape. With his shaft standing ever brighter, another one might have become blinded by the light. But David's focus remains crystal clear. This morning I was explaining to my daughter what a possum was. It was great. There's a possum in my tree. She looks at me and she goes, wow, what a cute rat. <laughs> Those moments in life are so much more special to me than, than opening the 35,000 people. That's great. You know, but I mean, looking at her face brings up the child inside of you that I think keeps me alive. Along with those noisy phones and faxes, David's home also howls with some four-legged friends whose bark is worse than their bite. Five dogs because we fall in love with them in pet stores and take them home. You want a dog? Well, sweet, why don't you take one home with you, please? Thanks, but no thanks, David. The house contains an entire room full of toys and collectibles. Yet another is a special hideaway, a virtual shrine to the great white hunter. I've got um, my room, which I call the African room. There's some animal heads that were given to me as gifts from people who were trying to escape Rhodesia, which became Zimbabwe. And people go in there and they get a little upset because it looks like I shot and killed all these animals. I didn't. They were all gifts and they were just mementos of the time I spent in Africa. 